There's a whole realm of machining marks that exist all over these sites in Egypt. There's a place called Abu Sia that's been closed to the public. All over this site, you find amazing evidence for massive circular saws. You see machining marks. There's a famous core, it's called Petrie's core number seven. Flinders Petrie, he was the first guy to apply engineering principles. What Petrie found and what Chris Dunn later verified is a continuous spiral groove of at least two points that runs down the length of the core. Now, analyzing that, you can determine how quickly was this drill penetrating the granite. It's about a one in 60 rate. So for each 60 inches of horizontal travel, it's going one inch into the stone. That figure is 500 times greater than we can achieve today in terms of how fast it penetrates the granite. 500, 500 times, times greater. And when we talk about this machinery, what's the speculation? Well, the orthodoxy here in the academia will do everything they can to just hammer everything you find into this box. So they found some copper chisels, bronze chisels, pounding stones. These are the tools we found, so therefore everything's made by these tools. Outside of that, 